some clavicle fractures do require a surgical treatment in order to avoid possible complications. But what complications are we talking about? And how can we recognize that they are indications to perform a surgery? Well, this bone over here is the clavicle. The clavicle in Latin means a key. Well, the bone does look somewhat like a key. Before we can understand these indications and signs that indicate that a surgical treatment is necessary, we have to understand the anatomy and the fracture itself, as well as the complications we're trying to avoid. So let's explain the anatomy of the clavicle. Well, anatomically, we divide the clavicle in three parts. This over here is the distal part or the lateral part of the clavicle, the lateral third. It articulates with the acromion of the scapula. This here is the middle third and this the proximal third of the clavicle. The proximal third articulates with the sternum in the chest region. But where in our body can we find clavicle and where does the fracture happen? Well, the clavicle can be found over here. If we look closely, you can notice a bone that stretches from the shoulder region to the chest over here. This is where it articulates with the acromion of the scapula and here with the bone called the sternum. The clavicle can also be palpated over here. And that's extremely important when we're examining patients with a suspected clavicle fracture. But how does a clavicle fracture happen? Well, the patients usually fall on their outstretched hand or their shoulder and the clavicle fractures. The clavicle can fracture pretty much anywhere along its length. And if I were to move this clavicle a little bit to the right, so I can show you where exactly clavicle can be found, you would notice it over here. It articulates laterally with the acromion of the scapula and over here with the bone called the sternum. This over here is the clavicle. The clavicle can not only fracture in different locations, it can also fracture in different patterns and ways and even on the joint surfaces. And that can be a problem. So what are the possible complications and how to recognize the indications that might tell us that a surgery is necessary. But before we get to that, I have to ask you something. You see, this is a new channel. We don't have a lot of subscribers, so if you would like our video, and if you would share our video with your friends and your colleagues, we would be super thankful. And also, if you considered subscribing to our channel, Make sure you click that bell button and click on all to get the notifications for our new videos because we noticed that YouTube simply does not inform our audience and our subscribers about our new videos unless they do that. Clavicle fracture can have different complications. For example, if a clavicle fracture is intraarticular, it means that it involves joint surfaces, it can cause inflammation of the joint itself and then the destruction of the joint. This can lead to pain, but ultimately, if close nerves and arteries are damaged, this can lead to tingling and also pain and numbness. To avoid complications of a clavicle fracture, we might have to perform a surgery. Here we can see a list of indications for a surgical treatment of clavicle fracture. So the first indication for a surgery of clavicle fracture in the list is if a bone is broken into multiple pieces. The second is an open type of fracture, meaning that a fragment or a part of the clavicle protrudes and penetrates the skin. That's why it's called an open type of fracture. Clavicle fracture should also be treated surgically 
if there is a possibility or a danger that a nearby nerve or an artery might be damaged. Remember when we said that this is the distal third of the clavicle? Well, if a fracture happens here and it is displaced, well, then that is an indication for a surgery. Furthermore, after a fracture, clavicle can be shorter. And if it's shorter, more than 2.5 centimeters, well, a surgery might be considered. And last but not least, extreme displacement. No matter where the fracture took place, if the fragments are extremely displaced, that is an indication that a surgery might be considered. If you're a doctor and you want to make a video like this one, then go to anatomsky.com. But if you have more questions about clavicle and clavicle fractures, then go to this link symptomsky.com slash help slash clavicle and both doctors and everybody else patients you can subscribe to our channel